Hey you guys, Lacey and Steve from Duo Reacts. Steve and Lacey. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching Lost. Season 5, episode 15. Follow the leader. Follow the leader. We just got done watching episode 14. Um, Steve was actually excited to get into the next episode on this yes, one. Yes, I was. Typically, I'm usually drained Typically, and done. he's like one episode at a time because I need to, usually there's a lot to process. Um, that episode was really, really good. And but there was then a lot it came to process. To the, at the end, it was like, he gets, you know, Daniel Faraday gets shot by his mom. What? And yep. she stares at him with these... Frickin' stare through eyes. Steve, we're just... Eloise Hawking for Steve is like... I know, man. Evil stepmother for some reason. And obviously in the last episode, she very much proved that she was not a very good mother to Daniel. And Jordan brought up a good point in our Zoom discussion that... Imagine knowing what she knew. Mm -hmm. That she would end up being the one to kill him and in order to follow the destiny that she believes in or whatever, that she was almost purposely trying to not build a bond with him. But I, but she often had tears in her eyes when talking to him too. So I'm like, at the same time, I, I do think she loved him and cared about him, but she, she had to, she felt like she had to do this for some reason, send him back knowing he would die. I don't know, but old Chucky, I don't like him. Old Chuck, Charles, yeah. Chuck Widmore. Let's hop in. All right. Seriously, I need to. I need to get in. Let's do it. Oh, we get to see we get to see Daniel die again. That's lovely. Jack, he's crazy. This is my rear. Uh, uh. uh oh. Who's this? Who's that? Somebody coming out of nowhere. Must be an other, I'm guessing. Oh, that's Charles Widmore right there. Oh, God. Just who bloody hell may you be? Is that your handwriting? She's like, oh, shit. Louise, what happened? Shot our son. This man walked into camp, put a gun to my head, and Louise reacted. Where'd you find that? Crouched in the bushes. Did you two come here with this man? Yes. Put them in my tent. Why the Dharma Initiative seems to have declared war on us. These people aren't from the Dharma Initiative, Charles. Uh, Where the hell are they from? Future. Oh, God. She's like, how do I tell him this? You remember that one night? I, I must be pregnant right now because this is our son. <laughs> he's here. Who's, he's here. Who's he? Walking up with a wild boar, I figured. John? Hello, Richard. It's been a while. It's been uh, three years. What happened? What, where, where were you? I'll explain on the way. The way? Where? Uh, it's going to be night soon. You and I have an errand to run. Uh, What's wrong? Nothing different, in fact. I have a purpose now. He died. Why did Locke say these were his people? I thought they were yours. When I left the island, John stepped in. He's the leader now. That man he's talking to. His name is Richard Alpert. He's a kind of advisor. And he has had that job for a very, very long time. Uh, yeah. John, what are you... Were you here in 1977? These people. Jack Shepard, Kate Austin, Hugo Reyes. They were here with my husband, Jim Blunt. Were you here? Do you remember them? Any of them? Yes, I was here. And I do, I remember these people. I remember meeting them very clearly because... Because... I watched them all die. Wait, what? What? He said, I remember it very clearly because I watched them all die. Oh, God. Drink the water? Do you think it's true? They're all dead? I don't think we went through all this for nothing, son. I'm ready, Zach. You still have that compass I gave you? A little rusty. Wish you could still find north. Ben, I'd appreciate it if you join us. What, John, don't you trust me here with my people? <laughs> afraid I'll stage a coup? I'm not afraid of anything you can do anymore, Ben. Huh. Well, in that case, I'd love to come. Good. <laughs> there. We'll be back in a couple hours. So whatever happens, son, you have my word. There's a way for you and Jim to be together again. There's a way to save our people. I'll find it. 
Apparently you don't have very long to find it. Take it easy on her. Dang. Settle down, that. bro. Are you okay? Yeah. You know, before we were caught, you said that we needed to put things back the way they were supposed to be. What did you mean by that? I think we can do what Faraday said. Our plane never crashes. Flight E15 lands in Los Angeles. Everyone we lost since we got here, they'd all be alive. And what about us? We just go on living our life because we've never met. All the misery that we've been through, we just wipe it clean. It was not all misery. <sighs> Enough of it was. Oh, dang. That's harsh. Man, I shot. I need you to tell me why he needed the bomb. I don't think he'd believe me if I did. Uh, try me. Mm, yeah. When I was 17 years old, I took a young man to the bomb. He proceeded to tell me that if we buried it underground, then things would work out splendidly. When I asked him how he could be so sure, he said that he was from the future. And then he disappeared. Right in front of my bloody eyes. Ten minutes ago, I shot that man. And before he died, he told me that he, he said he was my son. Explain to me. If you have my word, I will believe you. How is this my handwriting if I don't remember writing it? Yeah, because he's from the future. Because you haven't written it yet. I know this is hard to understand. What you just did, it was an accident. And I think that there's a way for you to take it all back. Your son came back here because he had figured out a way to change things. He doesn't have to be dead. You don't have to have killed him. If we do what's written in that journal, this would have happened. Well, I mean, this would have happened, right? He, he thinks he does. I'll take you to the bomb. One small issue, however. We secured it over 20 years ago underground. But since that time, it appears that someone's built an entire village over it. The Dharma Initiative. It appears that you two have been passing yourselves off as members, so I suppose yeah. coming and going will be relatively simple. Yeah. Well, now it might be a little bit more complicated than that. It's going to be a little more complicated than that. And a lot more. Yeah. That woman, where does she know? Oh, I'm a lawyer. <laughs> Stuart! What the hell are you doing? I'm getting answers. Hey, hey, stop! Damn it, stop! That is an order. I'm still in charge. I thought you were in charge. You don't have your stomach for what happens next. The stomach? Are you just going to give in that easily, huh? No. Hey, Jim, last chance. Can you tell me where she is? Or so help me God, I will kill you. Believe me, I'm getting tired of this too, Jim. She bring them to the hostels? You know where they are? <laughs> then tell me what I want to know! Stuart, please. We have known each other for three years. We are not bad people. We are not here to hurt you. Whatever you tell them, I ain't gonna like you. Beating him is pointless. He's not gonna talk. I can make him talk. And how's that? Yeah. Easy. Uh oh. I'm gonna kill you. Zorzinski. There's still no sign of Miles or Jen. But the recruits from last week, they got their subs manifest from Amy. It was three last minute add ons. It was a two minute shot at you. Shepard wasn't there. That's Fusco. Remember when you were trying to get Fusco to get him out of here? What? That's Fusco from Person of Interest. Who the hell is Hugo Reyes? He's the fat guy. Hey. Hey now, you be nice. Look at him. <laughs> He's preparing. I love how he chooses the vanilla wafers and... <laughs> so what's the rescue plan? Rescue plan? We're heading to the beach. What do you think we're sending you for food? But they got Sawyer and Juliet. And there are 30 of them and they all have guns. We gotta do something. Well, Sawyer would never leave us behind. Dr. Chen. The Fred Faraday. Said that you were from the future. I need to know if you was telling the truth. Dude, that's ridiculous. What year were you born? What year? 1931. You're 46? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I am. So you fought in the Korean War? There's no such thing. <laughs> Who's the president of the United States? All right, dude, we're from the future. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I love him. I just freaking love him. I do too. Then? You're my son. You are my son. Yeah, it's true. Your friend, physicist, he also told me to evacuate everyone I could off the island. He said there was going to be a massive accident at the Swan. Now, is that true? He's been right about everything so far. If Faraday said get people off the island, I'd do it. 
Okay. okay. Let's hope he knows what he's doing. I mean, he's dead, so... Richard, you and Eric are coming with me. I'm taking him to the bomb. What? Not in your condition while holding her stomach? Who is he? The man you're asking about, Jack, is Charles Whitmore. Yep. He and Eloise are... Let's just say love can be complicated. All right. Let's do that. You, uh, you ready to tell me where you've been the last three years? You really don't know? <laughs> well, I know that on the day that Ben here turned the wheel, that you and I were sitting on a log, and then you just disappeared. Well, Richard, you're just about to see where I disappeared, too. And after we're finished with that, I'd like you to take me to see Jacob. Okay. That's not how it works. Is that true, Richard? Is this going to be a problem? John, there's no reason to rush me. I am the leader now. Yes, John, that's right. Then I would like you to take me to Jacob. Can you do that? Of course. Fantastic. Let's keep moving. We're almost to the plane. What plane? Yeah, I'm really confused what <laughs> Where are we John Black is doing. And he's always confused me, but... It's a beach craft. He used to smuggle heroin. that flew out of Nigeria and crashed here. Mm, that plane. All right, Richard, listen very carefully because you're only going to have about three minutes to get this right. A man's about to walk out of the jungle. He's been shot in the leg. He'll need this to get the bullet out. I'm sorry, John. I'm Just not... listen. This is the important part. You're going to need to tell him that he has to bring everyone who left back to the island. And when he asks how to do that, we tell him he's going to have to die. It's literally John. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh what my freaking god, what? Come on. I believe this is when the flashes were happening, right? And he was jumping through time or whatever, and he apparently jumped to the future, and that's when he got shot. Let's go, let's okay. go, let's go. Okay. I, I need a time to okay. relax my brain. Richard. What is happening? What's happening? You're bleeding to death. I need to get the bullet out. How did you know there was a bullet in my leg? You told me there was, John. No, I didn't. Well, you will. Okay. Remember that? This must be quite the out-of-body experience. A little Something bit. Something like that. This is the... Your timing was impeccable. How did you know when to be here? The island told me. Oh, God. Did it ever tell you things? No, John. And clearly it hasn't told you where Jacob is. You wouldn't need Richard to show you. Jacob, you've never seen a man yet. I'm going to take his silence oh, as a... Wow. Yep, now he disappeared. Yep. What just happened? Where did you go? To give Richard his compass back. Want the bullet? Keep it. <laughs> Everything go all right? You seem pretty convinced. Especially when I said you were going to die. Didn't think that didn't have to happen. Actually, Richard, it did. Everybody's so confused, except John, apparently. Even Richard is confused right now. He's like, what? You need to do it. What the hell is going on here? Are you supposed to be at the Swan right now, Shane? There's a high probability of a cataclysmic action. We are drilling and on schedule. Of course. You're in charge. He's not in charge anymore. This is my decision, and it's been made. Listen, son. It ain't safe. Put the women and children on the sub, get them the hell out of here. If you put me and Juliet on the sub with them, we'll tell you anything you want to know. You want on that sub, Jim? I want to know exactly where the hostels are. You two know how to swim? Why don't we just go around it? No, dear, we need to go in. We have to swim under the pond to get to the tunnels. <laughs> I'm not going. I can't go any further with you, Jack. Not this time. Hey, you can't go back there now. They know about us. They're trying to kill us. Well, what are you trying to do? Bye, Jack. Mm. You're not going anywhere. No, you don't need to do that. We're not in the habit of telling our secrets to strangers, then just letting them saunter off. Look, just put the gun. Step away! She wants She's to die. She can leave! Uh, uh, Wait. Uh, Who's Saeed? What? Where did he come from? He's been hiding in the jungle this whole time, apparently. What are we doing here, Eloise? That man just killed one of our own people, and you're acting like it doesn't matter. If these people are right about what they're about to do, Richard, it won't matter. So you're telling me you're going to erase the last three years of our lives. I don't know if you're aware of this, but I've already changed it. I killed Benjamin Linus, and we're all still here. Because you didn't kill him, Sawyer and me took him to the others so that they could save him. 
He's like, why? Why did you do that? Why did I do that? Since when did shooting kids and blowing up hydrogen bombs become okay? The three of us disappeared off that plane and ended up here because this is our chance to change things. And if you're wrong, then everyone on the island dies. I'm not wrong, Kate. This is it. This is why we're here. This is our destiny. Do you know who you sound like? Because he was crazy too, Jack. You said so yourself. Well, maybe I was wrong. Well, you were right. I'm going back to find the rest of our people because if I can't stop you, then maybe they can. Okay, well, people are evacuating. And there goes Charlotte. Charlotte. I want her to leave now. Why is she young here, dude? To make her leave. It's the only way you can get her to leave. It's Jim and Juliet. Why the hell are they going to on the sub? So you always have the plan, right? I think, I think his plan is to get on the sub. We'll buy Microsoft. Okay. We'll buy some stock in Google. Should have listened to you. You want to get on this sub three years ago. Come on, before get in. Whatever, Bosco. He's like, oh, by the way, my name's not Lafleur. It's amazing. It's just that view. <laughs> Like how they transition that. Yeah. I don't see on the other side. I won't blame you. There's an opening in the bottom of the rocks at the far side. I mean, you could have probably got under a little bit closer. I figure it's gotta be kind of hard swimming in the Dharma outfit. Who's this? It's Richard. Okay. Where are we? Charles. Tunnels. Tell me how we're going to get her behind that here? Same way we brought it in. I assume you don't mean through the pool. It's a 12 foot long, 40,000 pound hydrogen bomb. No, not through the pool. Okay, he decided to come. Well, that's a good thing, no matter what. It's probably best to have him and Jack together anyway. If this works, we might just save us all. If it doesn't, at least you'll put us out of our misery. <laughs> Like, so what in the hell's going on here? How can Richard be in two places at once? Steve. What? When he's with John here, he's in the present day. Yeah, okay. When he's with Jack and Eloise and them, he's in the 70s. So it's okay, two okay, times. okay, okay. All right. Yeah, 70s. Richard, and then and, present day Richard. Okay. Yes. Okay. So it's just kind of showing what... And he always looks the same. Yeah, and, he, and he's and he been... He's had this job for a very long, long time. Long time. Yes. Sorry. No, it's all right. I have a total time brain fart a little bit. <laughs> Got a lot going on in my head. When yeah. I saw that, it just... Yeah. Now, I'm eager. We can do whatever we want, but I think the two of us should go back to Is this everyone? Well, there's another group at the temple, but... If you don't mind, I would like to talk to everyone here. Okay, he wants to talk to everybody right now. Hello everyone, my name is John Locke. For some time, you all have been accepting orders from a man named Jacob. Oddly enough, it seems that no one has actually seen him. I'm sure there are very good reasons why his existence and whereabouts are secret. I just don't know what they are. And to be honest with all of you, if there's a man telling us what to do, I want to know who he is. Yeah. It's Understandable. Man. Jacob, can you tell us how to bring Jen and the rest of our people back here? Absolutely. But you don't know that, right? Richard has agreed to show us where we need to go. So I'm going to go and see Jacob right now. And I'd like all of you to come with me. Is he trying to prove that Jacob no, is I, not I real I think he's going to put it on call here. He is even... I'm starting to think John Locke is going to be trouble. Why do you think I tried to kill him? I mean, you did kill him. Dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. I would not go on that submarine. Shove it off in two minutes. What are we going to do when we get to Ann Arbor? Uh, we ain't going to Ann Arbor. These guys ain't cops. They got no authority over us back in the real world. Once we dock, wherever we dock, we're free. They're not going to... Mm -hmm. Something's going to happen. Something's going to happen. You don't think they're nope. getting off the island? They're after us. They got your back, remember? I love you. I love you back. Hold on, don't blow the hatch. Or let's fire off the island, too. Yeah, we'll lose her. Kate. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Oh, shit. Awkward. Yep, and make sure you put them 
right beside each other looking at Sawyer. Yeah. Best case scenario. He's like, damn it. She's like. And she's like, damn it. <laughs> All this shit, man. I feel bad for her. I know, me too. It's like, goddamn. Uh, Looks not to too me bad. like they're. Uh, They're leaving the island, it looks like. I'm sure it's occurred to you that this woman's motivation in helping us detonate a hydrogen bomb is only to annihilate the Dharma Initiative. I still trust her. Because 30 years from now, she's always going to tell us how to get back to the island. And that makes you trust her. <laughs> Not sure about that logic, but okay. Shit. Dar she blows. Oh. Yeah, now what? Oh, and here we are following the leader, right? Following yeah. the leader. Now I'm interested in this. I mean more so than He's leading everybody to Jacob, not but, just himself. And I want to see what and it's gonna cut off. I know it is because I I feel the time you, coming. You feel like we're we're not gonna know for sure by nope. the end of this. Richard had some concerns. Concerns about what? Reservations about whether or not you know what the hell you're doing. I appreciate you bringing this to my attention, man. I know we've had our differences in the past, John. Uh, but I'm here to follow you now. Yeah, okay. So if you need Jacob to help you reunite your people, then I'll do. But I'm not interested in being reunited with my people. Uh, oh, okay. Then why are we going to Jacob? So I can kill him. Oh. He's like, wait, what? I'm so that episode. I I don't know what. I mean, a lot to take in on that episode, wasn't there? There's so much going on. There's a lot going on. A lot on. happened in this episode, and I mean, a lot of flashing back between yeah, present and then the seventies. But and then you got people leaving, and you got uh, you know, I mean, just so much, and it's so much like yeah. I can tell it's it's ramping up to the end. Yeah, it's like it's like all of this feels like it's happening simultaneously when really it's thirty years apart, but it kind of in a way it kind of is simultaneously. It's kind of weird. Uh, yeah. But um and I really did yeah, have it's a very interesting. Yeah. I think I'm just ready to get to those last two episodes to be yeah. honest because i feel like you need to see where this is yeah where added. this is going how it's gonna conclude um the build-up is very confusing i know but i i'm i'm okay with it but this episode i'm like okay and it, there's a lot going on i want to see what john Locke is doing here obviously he said he's going to kill jacob who's jacob is Jacob even real? Right. Like, is he even, like, or is he just, like, this, you know... I don't know. ...idea, or, you know, nobody's ever seen him, so I don't know. But, um, yeah, he's gonna kill Jacob, apparently. And what made him make that decision to kill Jacob while it would appear that in the 70s they are going back and going to detonate a hydrogen bomb... To right. try and get rid of all this energy so that nothing happens. I mean, it, it, it's crazy, but yeah, I think it was a good episode. Yeah, it was. Yeah. No, it, it just, a lot going on, man. <laughs> and I need to yeah. really let it soak in some more on this. Okay. Um, but well, John Locke's got me thinking again, and I don't like that. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this episode with us. Please leave a like on this video. Leave your comments and questions down below. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already, share the video, and squish that bell. And we hope you guys all have an amazing and awesome day. Hope amazing happens to you until next time. And Lost, peace out.